Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this ghosting effect that you see on a lot of popular games and some websites that uh, basically you are making a ghost of the current item you have. So for this ship, you can imagine a power up or some sort of cool effect or a mouse cursor basically having a tail or a colored shadow. So this is a really awesome effect. I've seen this in a few games. Uh, and I just wanted to find out how they do it without creating all these movie clips. And the secret is to create a bitmap. And through the bitmap, you put all the effects and cool stuff into it. So the first thing you want to do is create an uh, action script 3 layer. And I locked it. I have my action script there. The next thing I did was go to the properties of the stage and change it to this blue color. Because I want my, um, my ghost to have a white color to it and it would show up nicely on a blue background. Inside of my library I uh, have a ship <clears throat> and inside of my ship the most important thing is once you create your ship or cursor or whatever you're gonna create make sure that you export it so right click on it go to its properties and inside of its properties down where they says li where is linkage make sure you export for action script and export for action script in frame or export in frame one uh, I'm naming it SP. Very important to know. Uh, so remember the name of your class because you're going to have to use it again inside of your action script. And if you're wondering how I created this uh, ship, the first thing I did was have the first layer is this bit, this glass, and the second layer is basically a, a simple tween that rotates the item. So I have two layers, so the glass and the rotating uh, graphic. So I have that item inside of my uh, library and now I'm ready to code it. So let's get into the action script. I have a bare bones structure of everything inside of this action script but I'll be going over everything and I'm gonna do the hard parts with you. So the first item that I created is this variable called ghost mode which is a boolean and I set it to false. This will control whether or not to have ghosting on your item. The next item we are going to create is a filter and that is going to be called a color matrix filter and uh, color I'm going to data type it to a color matrix filter is equal to new color matrix filter and inside of the color matrix filter you have to put a matrix inside of the color filter and the way you're going to do that is we're just going to put a bunch of zeros and we'll get back into how to do everything so what you want to do is put five zeros 0 comma 0 comma 0 and so forth until you have five zeros great you're doing a great job now after the end of that zero you just want to hit return and paste it so you have four rows of zeros removing the last comma putting that brace and then closing the parenthesis now we want to put ones all on the diagonal so first row first zero second row second zero third row third zero fourth row, fourth zero, change them all to ones. What this basically does is leave your color normal. And we want a normal color for now. You know, we want um, this filter to present a normal color. So the next item we want to create is uh, a bitmap data. So BMD for me. And I'm data type it to bitmap data is equal to new bit data. Inside of the bitmap data, you have to put items such as the width, which I want it to be the same width as the stage, and the same height as my stage, so 500 by 50 by 400. The next item is it asks if you want transparency, and you will put true. And we want to put a fill color, so it's 0, x, 0, 0, and 6 f's. So I have 6 f's, and that's how we do it. The last item that we're going to create is a bitmap. So bm is equal to is equal to a new bitmap. Inside here, we want to put the bitmap data. So it's bmd, of course, and we'll close that. Now we're ready for the next item. We're creating an empty movie clip called movie clip, or excuse me, called con. We data type it to movie clip, new movie clip. The next item we're creating the ship. So is var ship movie clip, we data type it, is equal to new SP. Do you remember the SP clip? Okay, good. Well, that SP is the name of our ship. Now we, go, we are going to start adding these items that we created to the stage one by one. 
and we the order is important. I'll explain it. We want the bitmap to be on the bottom. We don't want the ghost to be on top of the ship. So the first item you have to add is the bitmap. So this means the bitmap is going to be on the bottom. The bitmap is what's going to hold or create your ghosts. So important to be on the bottom. The next item we have the container. And now we're going to add the ship into the container. So container dot add child ship. So now the ship is in there. Now I have these three functions set up. Function, move ship, yada yada yada. Don't worry about those functions right now. Let's pass those. Now I added three event listeners. The first event listener, mouse event, mouse move, move ship. So basically um, I'm adding this event listener to see when I move the mouse the ship will have a way to move. The next event listener I added is the enter frame which I call loop and the last event listener I created is a mouse event click and it's for this ghost function which will basically turn the ghost mode on and off. Now we're ready to fill in these functions, these empty functions that I created. The first thing we're going to do is that move ship function. So we're going to create a temporary value, a variable temp of var dot var temp and we'll data type it to a movie clip is equal to movie clip and inside of those parentheses we want to put con dot get child get child at and we want to put zero. We're basically accessing the first item inside of the container because we want the container to only hold the ship so there we go so now we can use temp as our uh, reference to the ship temp dot x is equal to mouse x and temp mouse y so now it'll basically follow our ship the next item is we have this ghost um, event. Basically when I click it turns on and off the ghost mode. So the function is important but how you activate it is up to you. Ghost mode in parentheses and I'll put it else and close that brace. So basically what I'm saying is if ghost mode is true make it false and I copy that. Anything else we want to make ghost mode true. So I'm basically what's happening, this is an on and off switch function. We want to start messing with the loop function. The first thing we want to say is basically if the ghost mode is true, then we can do certain things. So um, since it's true, we want to get the bitmap data to basically draw what's inside of the container. So draw, and in the parentheses you put con. In fact, let's try it out. When I click to turn on ghost mode, you can see that it is working. It's making a copy of um, my shit. So the way to reach our awesomeness is to go back to the color matrix filter that we created above and we'll put color matrix filter dot matrix is equal to don't close it. So five zeros copy that return and basically paste it four times remove that last uh, brace and put a semicolon there. Like before we put all ones here but we're going to do something different. We want to change the color. So on the last zero, we can basically put a, um, a RGB value f from zero to two, yeah, 255. So 255 would basically get, if we get 255s on all three, it'll basically turn white. And this number right here, the fourth row, fourth zero, we can put a number from zero to one which will basically determine how much alpha is given or taken away. So a, a number like a 0.9 or 0.8 will basically uh, remove the alpha slowly but continuously. But if we wanted another color, then we change these three numbers to something uh, more to your taste. Now we're going to apply the filter to the bitmap data. So bmd dot apply filter and this is where we uh, at first wants to know where's the bitmap data source which is BMD again and the next thing it wants to know is the source or the, the rectangle source which is um, BMD dot rect. Uh, the next item it wants to point so you can write in new point and in parentheses 0 comma 0 and close parentheses and the next and final item is to put inside of the new filter so that is uh, color 
matrix filter. So that's how we apply the filter. So when we start this up, what we should get is this white color um, applied to our ghosting effect. So see it working. And when we when we finally activate the ghosting, you can see that we have that white uh, color going on. Thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. And with a little experimenting, you can get a bunch of cool looking colors and cool things going on. So if you like this ghost effect, make sure you go to my website on interflash.com where you can download the FLA and also click on an adder to put a few pennies in my pocket so there won't be ghosts flying out of the, the bank, you know. So, and also you can get the FLA, the source code, all that jazz. And, you know, support on Interflash, rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that jazz. So, this is the ghosting effect. Ooh, ooh Casper, the, the, the satanic ghost. Ooh.